Hey guys, I am Flubberleaky and uh, this is going to be a special kind of video. I'm going to show you my auto minecart station and then I'm going to show you how to make one of your very own. Now this is indeed built into my house. I built it off the hallway, I replaced my old uh, uh, minecart system here, I completely got rid of that. And I have now replaced it, and that volume is really loud, sorry, I'll just turn that down. Oh gosh, okay that's good. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I designed this myself, like, I, I did watch tutorials on how to do it, but I, I did this design completely myself, did all the wiring of the redstone and all, all that. So, first things first, we see flashing light, that means the cart is ready. So then it says, if I want to call the cart, I stand on this pad here, and the cart will come out here, and it'll stop here, and then I can get in it, and then this booster cart will take me along. Now, if I miss it, you'll see it goes back into there. So if I'm not in the cart on this pad, the cart will indeed go back that way. If I'm on it, it will continue out this way and it will take me down to my other base. If we go back here, we can see how it kind of works. So this is the cart here that keeps going on this pad here, is the one that flashes. And that is the main cart that I will ride in. Over here is the booster cart. So when I call this, this track here changes and it boosts out here and pushes me along. Now this one here will change here to uh, stop the cart there. So that's basically how it works. It, it's not all that complicated. Um, I know it kind of looks confusing, but I will show you how to make it step by step. It's very simple and can take only a few minutes to set up. Okay, so here we are in my testing world and I have got this exact same setup I had in my house, except this one's much more open and I've exposed all the redstone so you can see. I've even put it on top here. Normally all this would be wired underground within the uh, 14 by 17 area, but I expose it so you can see. And you can see how simple it really is. So, okay, so first of all, you can see the carts are looping right there. And this light is blinking. Now, this light blinks quite simply by this, this redstone torch here is attached to this block, which powers up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each section and show you how to make it separately. And then you can piece it all together. It's quite simple. Okay, so first component we're going to make is a primary card booster. So we want to dig out an area of 2x5 blocks to be able to build our booster in. So there's our 2x5, and we're just going to collect all of those so they don't get in the way. And now we're going to build the uh, main booster, so we want to place a block here. And then place a track down like this. And stop right there. Now we want to uh, get rid of this here, and place a block on top so when the cart comes up it goes straight back down. And now we want to build the uh, main track, so I'm just going to chuck a piece there, so I can go like that. And go like that. And then we want to make it, make sure this uh, cart here loops around when we are not uh, calling it. Okay, so those, those are the track pieces. Now we need to make the, um, the blinking light. And for that we're going to just grab a wooden pressure plate and chuck it there. So now when we uh, get our two carts, like this... They will loop forever. So I'm just going to chuck that cart there, and then I'm going to get this cart and chuck it up here. And you'll see they will start looping continuously until we decide to call them. And now for the uh, simple blinking light. So we are going to dig... Uh, that's probably a bad place to dig down, actually. We're going to dig down here. Oops, see Daisy. We're going to dig down three blocks like this. I'm going to go like this. So right here is under our pressure plate, so we're going to place redstone there. Now, I'm just going to go back up because I need this cart to be moving while I do this. Well, I don't, but I just want to show you how it works. So if you don't already know how redstone works, I suggest you should probably watch some tutorials on it. But, it's pretty simple. Um, the concept is quite simple. So that pressure plate, pressure plate above is powering this redstone. So now all we have to do to make this blink a light is just bring the redstone up to a torch. So I'm going to do that now. And of course you can uh, cover this all up and make a proper blinking light. Now what you'll notice is when I, if I want a blinking light here, the light is off when the cart is on the plate and that's not what we want. So what we're going to do here, instead of that, we are going to put a torch up here, another block here, redstone there, and another torch here. So now it goes on when the cart uh, goes on the plate. And of course you can make this properly up on a wall. So this is the first component of our booster that you will need. The second component we're going to be making is the uh, station booster. 
And this one is a bit si more simple than the other one uh, in that it doesn't require a blinking light. So we're going to start right here, like this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we're going to go down like this. We're going to go down for four this time, not five. We don't need five this time around. We're going to place tracks like this. Just like that. Now, um, we want to dig the other side down too, of course, which I should have done. And we're going to place a track here. I'm going to get rid of that piece there and build, build it up like that and put that piece back down there. Now we're going to place a block up here, just like so, and that creates that part. Now we need it to loop back around. So for that we're going to do, this time it's going to be a bit different. We're going to do this, and this time we're going to place a block on top of that ramp, like that. And now if we place a piece of track up here, it'll curve it around in a little circle. So we can remove that block now, and we have our booster, just like that. So now if we chuck our uh, carts on there, you'll see them looping around. I'm going to chuck that one there, and I'll chuck this cart right here. And there you go, they're looping around. So now, we have our two boosters, and yeah, I did alter that light a bit because it was in the way. And there's a chicken riding the cart right now. I hate it when farm animals get in the way, it's just so annoying. So anyways, we've got our two main boosters, now what we got to do is do the station. And that, that's where it gets a bit complicated because we have to link two pressure pads up. And then after that we have to do the cart return, so that's another pressure pad. But, we will start on the station right now. Oh my god, farm animals are so incredibly annoying when trying to play- Oh, there's a cow on that one too, there's a cow and a chicken in this one. Cow and chicken. Anyone remember that show? That was a good show. I used to love watching that. Anyway, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the farm animals in there, I don't really care about them right now. I need to place a block back again above that, and I should probably stop that cart. Oh, hit the cow. Stupid cow, get out of the way. So we're gonna stop that, and we're gonna place a piece of track right there. Now what we need to do is we need to come here place a, so we're, we're making the uh, station booster so we need this is the station booster so we need to pa place a piece of track here and sorry another one there and we need to come down here for three yeah like that okay so we need to do that so this comes down here like this goes around the corner and comes back up just like that and so when it does that we need to continue this all so this is the uh, this will be the station line here and this is the booster for the station so we bring this back around to this point here, and that's going to join to that track, isn't it? Stupid thing. What I need to do... So that this is why we put this piece back up here, because this is the cart return. And wow, this is annoying. I should have planned this out a bit better. But anyways, we need to connect these tracks here. And yes, you've got to be careful of that. I'm, uh, I'm very bad when it comes to organizing tracks on the first go around, because... They like to join to different pieces and uh, make a mess of everything. So, what I have just done, is we can get rid of this block here now, is the booster. So, when our carts are looping around in this area here, forever, the carts will be looping here, and when I call the cart, I will swap this track piece here. This cart will boost up down here and push our main cart along. So now what we need to do is build a secondary part to the station, which is our main cart delivery system. So for that we need to place a piece of track right here because then we're going to swap that track when it comes along. So we want to place three pieces here. We want to leave a gap of two blocks and place the rest here like this. So we'll just do that for now. That's fine. It's going night time. Not anymore. It's not. So anyways, <laughs> yes, I am using cheats just for this, uh, this testing world. I, I don't use them in my main world, I assure you. So we're going to place two pressure pads now. One there and one there. This, when I stand on this pad, we want this, this pad here, we want it to turn this corner here, and this pad here, we want it to turn that corner over there. So this is where we get into some of the redstone stuff, which may be a little confusing to some, but to others it might be easy because you already know how to do it. So we're going to dig a line that we can call the cart. So we need to place a torch under this block here. And when we place it, I'm not... Yeah, when we placed it, our track piece has changed. So what we need to do, we need to create a knot gate. Now a knot gate just inverts the current, so you can just call it an inverter if you wish. But that's essentially what we're doing. So what we're going to do, we're going to dig down and now we need to place redstone below that light source there. And we're going to place a torch on the side of this block here. So, uh, uh, <coughs> sorry. So this torch here powers this redstone which then turns off that torch there. 
If this is a little confusing to you, I, su I do suggest you watch some other redstone tutorials and play around with them. If not, you can probably just copy exactly what I'm doing, which will probably be easier. Um, so we've made our inverter. Now we need to bring this redstone back and place it directly under our pressure pad. So our pressure pad's up there, and we want to place it down here, just like that. Now, that should be correct, assuming I haven't made a mistake. So if I stand on this, it changes that track piece right there. Now we can cover this up, and we have completely hidden wiring for that. And go away, you stupid chicken. So now what we want to do, we want to do the same thing, but for this pressure pad and that corner piece over there. So first of all, let's go over here and place a torch below that. So I'm going to dig down right here. And we are going to go there and place a torch right there. So I'm just going to cover this back up again, because that was just so I can place a torch. And so the, um, the default state of the torch means that the track is looping around. So what we want to do, when we stand on the pad, we want to turn off the torch. Which is actually easier, which means we don't need to create an inverter for this one. So if we dig down below here, and place some redstone there. And sorry, i just got to check where I'm going with this. So if I go across one, and then just keep going that way. Okay, so we want to go down here. I'm just going to dig a little extra space so I can walk. So we... We want our redstone to go across one uh, space here. I'm going to go down because we need to go down anyways. And we're going to go straight across here and we should run into the torch. Okay, so there's our torch. So all we got to do is that. Now the redstone is completely wired in that section so we can cover all this back up again. Just like so. And this should work perfectly fine. Assuming I haven't done anything wrong, but I don't think I have. So if I stand on this, it should now call that cart. And it does, and it goes back into the loop when it is done. So what we have uh, just created is the basics... <sighs> stupid cow. The basics of our station. And I'm going to chuck that cart back there and we can test it out. So I want to get a cart, so I stand on this plate. That corner there changes. Here comes the cart. That cart stops there and it calls that cart and pushes it along. So there you go. There's our basics of our station. And we're going to uh, do the next part now, which is the cart return system. Okay, so for our cart return system, what we wanted to do is if I don't get in the cart when it's boosted off, we want the cart to come over here and go straight back into the booster to reset. To do that is fairly simple, but you will indeed have to pay attention. So we want to make this station a bit longer here. Uh, that's going to interfere with this. Uh, I've got an idea. No, I don't want to get in the cart. Sorry, I'm just going to destroy this. Ah. It's always good to have a bucket of water when you're working with rails because you can destroy them much quicker, quickly, quicker than destroying them. Anyway, so, sorry about that. We want to make the station four long on this side and then we want to bring it back around this way. Just like this. So now we want to bring it back. Uh, and we want to go, yeah, to here. And then we want to dig down right here for four blocks long, just like that. And we want to put a booster on this side for four blocks long as well. And what we're going to do here is, this is where it's going to check if I'm in the cart or not, and if I'm not, it'll go back into there. So then it comes up here, and we go drag the track back there. So if I'm not in the, car, in the cart at this point, the cart will go around the corner and join the booster. If I am, the cart will go off this way, like that. So, now to do this, we're going to need a booster first, of course. So we build another one of the simple boosters, like this, by putting a block on top to make it curve in a circle. And we get rid of that block there, so we can just put the cart there. Now what we need to do is add the checking system. Now it's fairly simple, all we have to do is add some redstone circuitry. And we have to use a stone pressure plate for this one, because stone only activates if there is a mob in the car. So either you, or an animal, or a monster. So like, say if that chicken was in the cart, it would activate, but chickens are annoying, so we hate them. But, what we're going to do is, going to place a redstone torch under this block like we always do, because that's what we need to do. And we're going to see what the default state is. So the default state is like that. That's perfect. We need that. The default state is return the cart. So we only want to turn off the torch if I go on the pad. So therefore we don't need any inverters on this one. So we're going to dig down below this here. And I, uh, it's just straight ahead, isn't it? Yep, straight ahead. We just dig straight ahead from this point here. And I'm just going to chuck that there. Oops, I destroyed that track. But that's beside the point. So we dig straight ahead, and it's just a straight line to that torch right there. So that's perfect. And we can cover that back up, and we can cover that, and we can cover that. And I'm just going to fill in this area here. 
and we jump up like so and we put that track piece back there. So now if we stand on this, you can see that track piece up there changed, which is perfect because now we have our cart return system. Okay, so let's call our cart. So our cart is going to come down and through and it's going to call the booster cart and it's going to come around and because I'm not in it, it's going to go back into the holding section. Now let's test it if I'm in it. So let's get in and let's go. So if I'm in it, it should go straight ahead. And it did. So that is perfectly perfect. I don't know. So now what we want to do is add the arrival system. Now, because when a cart arrives, you can't go this way. If you go this way, you're going to get stuck there. And I wanted to keep this compact, so I didn't add another booster on this side because um, it interferes with some of the redstone and all that sort of stuff. So what I did is I simply got rid of that cart out of the way. And I just put a diversion system that goes around this way. So we're going to start over here. Place. No, I don't want to join to this section. We're going to place two pieces of the track coming off of the main station. And then we're going to turn it out this way. And go straight along here. And from this point right here, so one block in front of this, we're going to dig down another two by four uh, grass blocks. Just like that. I'm going to pick up all that. And we're going to go through here. It, it just needs a booster to ensure that it gets into the... Uh, station and yeah that's a problem I forgot about um, I need to fix this booster so if that happens when uh, you're building anywhere next to one of these circular boosters you need to make sure it is connected like that so when I build this it doesn't interfere um, so what I need to do now is go like this and what we want to do we want to keep this one section of track going straight and this one turning like that which is perfect because it did it by default so you want to this is how you want the track to look like because if I'm going this way the, if I'm going this way, the cart will actually go straight across that and it won't turn, which is what we want. But when I come back in, the cart will by default just turn this way and go over here. So now we're going to build the booster, which is another simple booster, just like this, by placing a block on top and like that. And you know what? We are actually done on the entire auto cart system that I have in my base. And we're gonna, we are going to uh, test it out. So we're going to chuck that back. And we are going to just make sure this loops around so we can go test out the arrival system. I'm just going to do a small loop like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the cart, I'm going to get in it, and we're going to go up here and we're going to come back and we can test the arrivals. And there is no booster cart there. But I will put one in there. <laughs> just like that. Okay, so we're going to test it out now. Everything should be ready. If not, my bad. So we're going to call the cart, I'm going to get into the cart, I'm going to be boosted along, and going to go straight ahead. And we should come back perfectly into the arrivals. And now what happens when I get off, it will call the cart again. It will boost it again. And it will take it back into the holding area. So that's how the arrivals work. And it completely resets it. And it's ready for your next use. So I hope this tutorial kind of thing helped out. If you need any more tips, uh, I guess I could do another video like on more like basic things. Because this is uh, doing a lot of basic things all in one go, which can be a bit overwhelming. I don't know why, but animals really like my uh, carts, and they must be having a bit of fun. Oh, there's a, there's a cow over in that one. Anyway, so I hope this uh, auto cart, auto minecart station helps you, and it's it's fairly compact, 14 by 17 blocks, and it fits in my base very nicely. And I will indeed see you in the next episode of Why Not Play Minecraft.